Alrighty, hey yo, what is up, knights? Each is here back with some more DFO Rush. This time on my witch. Now, guys, this is the last character, the final character I have made on this account that has achieved maximum level. This even goes past the Lancer character, which you just saw for a second right there. I've made both Lancers, uh, but this one is the, my most recent maximum character. I will go back and do the characters that I haven't shown off yet, like the Lancers. Uh, I, I have a few gunners I haven't shown off yet, so I'm not done with the DFL Rust series, but this is indeed my last character to get the max level. I just pretty much did it right now, and I'm still wearing like level 75. I don't have anything, anything at all. The only thing I have good is this weapon, so, because uh, I was kind of planning for making this character, and this is, eh, let's go, let's go ahead and go on to Master. Uh, I'm a little bit, uh, timid to go into these harder difficulties, but the witch is not bad. But, uh, yeah, no, I was, uh, you know... A lot of people might be shocked that I even have a character like this. This is definitely, you know, not type one for my type of playstyle, and there's definitely a lot of the things about this character I don't like. But this character in general is pretty uh, straightforward, and I'll try to show that off now. I will start off by saying that this character I am not playing it like most people play their witches. Okay, uh, generally the witch is might consider uh, I, I don't I don't really know how to put it the witch is a very unique character I guess is the best thing I could say about this class is that a lot of her skills you know don't uh, I mean she has a lot of different skills and a lot of different I feel like build paths but uh, the way I'm gonna be playing her is gonna be more focused on the broomsticks or uh, you know the, 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 the broom witch slap as I guess is called it where she goes into the air and kind of slams them with the fly swatter and all that so there like I said there's a lot of different build paths we'll look at those in a second actually you can just pull up the skills right here she has a lot of different skills and you can see down the line there's a lot of different paths as well and you know for instance most people go with the raging flame furnace I don't even bother picking it up and uh, you know I'll just try to show off what kind of skills I have like for instance you've probably seen a bunch of witches use this right here which is the, like drill car I have a level one so I'm not really using it but uh, again, like I said, really I'm focused around maybe an unorthodox build in the whole uh, fly swatter thing. So, boom, right here. Really good move right there. But yeah, um, this class is very unique. It has um, kind of like a luck-based system if you've never played it before. She has like this luck-based system where every time she casts a spell, there's a chance that you may cast a uh, much stronger version of the skills. We use our second awakening here, which is a really cool move, which is the Ouroboros here. In fact, you just kind of hold them there, which is perfect for whenever you want to use an assist or something to uh, get that hit off easily. Anyway, mostly that uh, uh, second awakening is used for a, like hold potential, so when you're in a party, the enemies can't get out of it. So it's a really useful assist like that. Uh, but yeah, her gimmick is the luck-based casting system, which personally I'm not a big fan of. When I got Second Awakening, though, I was really relieved, actually, because they not they didn't really remove the system. They just made it so that you can't fail. Uh, before, it used to be possible that you, you'd you cast a skill and it would fail. And if it fails, its cast was would be terrible. It would be, like, very weak, low damage, low AoE. Now, it never fails, and instead, you have a, a chance, this time, of getting a lucky uh, success chance, which is just an even greater version of the same skill. So... Um, you also get, your, your second awakening gives a lot of different stuff, like for instance, the skill before the second awakening, I would have to stay inside the wheel. Now I summon a humun humunculus to do the animation for me, so I can actually leave it there and it will cast a skill. Same thing with this skill, I summon a hum homunculus to do the rest of that animation there too, so. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's this weird luck based system, I'm not a big fan of it honestly, uh, because I hate luck based systems in general, but you know. With the Second Awakening, it really did fix it up. I think I went through 75 levels pretty much kind of hating the... I don't want to say hating the class, but I hated its systems and I wish it was better. And the Second Awakening basically made it a whole lot more manageable. So, it's a pretty easy stage right here. Now, the, the thing about this class, there's a lot of things I had to kind of learn about it. For instance, she... For the most part, while I was leveling, and even right now, I'm still focused around her weird, unique movement system. And this was kind of kept me interested for a long time. Um, she is like unlike any other character in the game. When you dash, of course you do a regular run, but if you press the jump button, you go soaring into the air. And if you dash again in the air, you actually get uh, movements in the air. And then you have different attacks. You've probably seen this in PvP all the time. The broom slap. And uh, she can also use, you can see a couple skills I have available in midair, which are the fly swatters, which is what uh, I'm mostly focused on. Um, 
So on top of having like these weird summons and stuff where it's luck based, she also has the fly swatter, which honestly is also luck based because <laughs> you actually, if you, if you have the passive uh, activated, you can actually, when you kill enemies with that fly swatter, you can actually summon enemies or like summon like towels and, and stuff. Again, not really caring about the summons and the luck based effects. I just kind of am. Uh, you know, liking the, the strength factor that she has in her, a lot of her skills, because you can see she actually has very, very good AoE. I actually put the TP into that skill right there. You can see some, some juggle combos we're going right here. And, and so she has that potential, even though it's not popular. I know, I know you're probably going to tell me about how good the Flame Furnace is and uh, your Solar Prominence. Trust me, I was there back when Solar Prominence was the height of all the power in DFO. And um, it's definitely the route you want to, you, you can go. And you know what? If you're taking night, or sorry, taking a uh, witch any seriously, you probably will go. But uh, yeah, I think I have more fun playing with this unique uh, fighting system instead. This unique uh, juggle system, which you know, it's, it's like a, it's kind of feels like a little bit of like Battle Mage, you know, where she 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 can utilize the launch, and then you know, instead of doing like chaser combos, she's doing like air juggle combos instead. So a little bit different. So anyway, uh, aside from that. Um, what else about this class? Yeah, this class actually has a suite of skills which I am not using. I haven't used yet. Obviously, the the firebomb, but then you also have like this acid rain right here, which is kind of like a like she has humongous AOE. Is what I'm trying to get at here. Uh, she has the ability to kind of cast that acid rain. She also has the lava potion, which are just kind of like DOT AOEs that you know you can kind of leave and and they'll do their you know they'll do the damage persistently as you're fighting. So it's something that, you know, if you decide to get that skill, which I personally don't use it very often, but if you did decide to get that skill, you would find yourself uh, in a really good spot uh, for just leaving enemy or leaving like pools of dot just in, in the fray, in the battle. So um, really useful for, you know, if an enemy takes a while to kill. It kind of reminds me of, if you guys play Monk, it reminds me of the Bloody Twister, which is the same thing. You cast it, and then it kind of just persists as a damage over time while you're doing your other stuff. It's the same thing with the Lava Potion and the Acid Range. So if you level it up, don't. I, it, it's definitely a skill that can be used for damage. So, um, also can see that, you know, like uh, like most of the uh, mages, she actually gets access to the Shudder Do, except hers is probably the most potent out of all of them because it's also like a debuff it also does massive massive damage and uh, you also have access actually I, I found it that because I'm kind of going this unorthodox kind of ice water build I found it that uh, the low level skills like should do uh, this little guy right here as well as the black man toe are extremely potent skills which by the way I haven't mentioned it but black man toe is probably one of the best grabs in this game like this this grab is sick it does a ton of damage and a ton of grouping, even grabs enemies that are super, super old type enemies. They'll still do damage to them, they'll still pull them, you know. A very, very useful skill, so I find myself using those kinds of skills a lot, and I've used them since very, since early level, and I haven't stopped using them. But I've picked up a few skills along the way, like these very, very potent AoEs right there. Throw Shudu will probably kill him. Did a million damage. Like you can see, these low-level skills are no joke, and they're scaling pretty damn well into the into the late game. I'd say. At least well enough for me, even though I don't have any any gear like whatsoever. I'm still kind of kind of managing. But uh, here you can see, you know, if this was higher level, which well I was. Ooh, shit, got canceled there. So you can see sometimes when you cast things, uh, they can get broken. Not, not like that though, that right there, Floray Collider, by the way, is probably the main reason why I wanted to have a Witch on the account. Which, by the way, some people might think that Witch is not a character that I, I would care to, to level. I have problems with the lowly character design, I have a serious problem with Summoner, but Witch, I think, is so unique, and I like, I like the uniqueness of the Witch. She's not like a Witch like in most games you've played. She is the most quirky, like even this skill. What the hell is up with this skill, man? <laughs> like, like... This is nuts. I'm just riding a freaking uh, roller coaster here, killing this guy. Like, this is crazy. Sometimes uh, when you fail that skill, you'll actually shock yourself. There's a lot of co comedy, like her first awakening. She crafts this, like, machine. This, what the hell is happening? Bah! And then I punk clock myself. Like, this is this is a very unique class, and I, I really enjoy the, the quirkiness of this character. Um, I'm happy I have her on the account, especially, like I said, for the assist potential in the Flore Collider. So, 
Anyway, guys, I hope I was able to show off the witch a little bit. I know this was not a, a supreme showing of all of her skills. Like, for instance, I didn't even pick up uh, this row of skills right here. Hardly even used some of them. So, um, But you can kind of see how the witch plays out. You can kind of go this route. Like I said, most witches won't. In most, you'll see most witches use these higher level skills. You'll see most witches, you know, actually use this for damage and grouping. And, you know, if, if it doesn't work out, any of the skills that you cast like this, you can actually end early by using the self-destruct. So you can basically make any of your channeling skills really safe. It's just that I didn't really want to go the channeling route. I still wanted to keep to my to my values, I guess, of keeping a melee character. And I think this, this class has a very unique way of doing it. Kind of like the female Spitfire, which has aerial combat and now that I spoke about it that will be the next character in DFR Rush series so anyway guys thanks for watching there was a little bit of my witch and I will catch you knights oh later woo